Yeah, I get it, okay? Yeah, right. Comedy cigars, music, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry that I look this way, but my hair is a complete mess, okay? It's raining outside. It is a complete frazz dad. But don't worry, I'm a prof. Hey everybody, welcome to Comedy Cigars and Music. And today's cigar for review is the Foundation Cigars Menelik. That take was on point. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting raisin, milk chocolate, earth, and cream. And that band is totes posh. Okay, so like right off the bat here, we have a lot going on, okay? First of all, right when you start pulling it in, there's this nice smoked oakiness in there, okay? And then there's a little milk chocolate, very subtle, but it's there. Trust me, it's there. I know chocolate and milk chocolate's there. Then there is this, once you bring all that smoke in, there is this really good beef jerky type of flavor. That's good. On the retrohale, it's a very light, subtle, part of that beef jerky in there, and then it kind of ends off in a very smooth and subtle earth. And then on the finish, the finish there is some more of that beef jerky, but it's very subtle, but there is spiced. And I want to say epic spice. It is amazing. So anyway, that's where we're at with this cigar. So let's just get the components of the cigar out of the way, okay? The wrapper is Mexican San Andres, and the binder and fillers are from Nicaragua. And I have a funny story about Mexico. It was like a spring break and we all went there to have fun and it was gonna be like an epic adventure. But like Chloe totally tried to ruin it, but Kimberly's like, don't worry about her. And I'm like, okay, I won't. Okay, so we are like into the first third. Is that right? Is it thirds? Anyway, we are well into the beginning of the cigar, and flavor-wise, there is some nice oak in there, a light barbecue sauce, so like that beef jerky that we got at the beginning. It's kind of more subtle. There's not that uh, smokiness to it, and it's just this light barbecue sauce. It just kind of uh, covers the palate as you're bringing the smoke in a little bit. Then there's like this earth. And that earth is like a real clean earth. Very nice, very understated. Then there has been some milk chocolate and cream. And when that milk chocolate has been in there, it is coming in with the oak right when you start pulling the smoke in. And that cream is right there too. Really good. And then on the retrohale, there is a very subtle earth and roasted coffee. And then on the finish, the finish is giving me roasted coffee, popcorn, and dark chocolate. And if you would totes like to support the channel, check out 58ring.com. They're our sponsor, very cool. And you can enter the code Dillweed9 to get 9% off. Okay, so we are well into the second third here. We are basically done with the second third to be honest. And flavor-wise, getting some milk chocolate, cream, oak, a little bit of smokiness in there. Now, all these flavors have become very, very subtle, but they're there. And there's some cherry in there too. And just on this last pull, I got a little bit of cinnamon, but all very subtle and very quick, short, okay? Short flavors. Uh, so they go really fast is basically what I'm saying. On the retrohale, there is some earth and dark chocolate. Still, that is very subtle as well, very quick. And on the finish, there is some earth and dark chocolate in there, but it is here and gone. Kind of like everybody is when Pamela shows up to the party. <laughs> Totes uncool. Comedy Cigars and Music would like to take a second to say thank you to Kaplowitz Media. They awarded us Cigar Reviewer of the Year, or Cigar Critic, Cigar Critic of the Year, Cigar Critic, Cigar Critic of the Year, and then he actually had us come on as a guest on his podcast. So you can check that one out. It's number 195, Course Untainted, totes fun. And also catch Mike Weinstein on there too. Very cool guy. So thanks. I was talking to my friend Natalie about doing this review and she said, girl, totes, 
you ought to show cleavage during the review. I decided not to. And honestly, totes regretting. Okay, so we are like in the final third now, okay? Flavor-wise, there's some milk chocolate coming in there. That beef jerky from the beginning has made a comeback. There is just a little bit of fruity sweetness in there. I would say it's more of a cherry. And then, I'm gonna tell you right now, cinnamon is still coming in like it was a little bit in the second third there. I always spell cinnamon wrong. Hashtag, thank you autocorrect. On the retro hail, getting some earth and just a little bit of that beef jerky. And then on the finish, there is some of that roasted coffee still and dark chocolate. Now, the draw and smoke output of this cigar has been excellent throughout. I thought I was gonna have a burn touch up like in this final third, but I did the smoke roll, trademark, and it fixed itself. So I've had no burn issues. This cigar has performed awesome. The ash has held on, a couple times it fell off, but it's really been a good ash. Uh, it's done real good. So I'm happy about that. If I were to rate this cigar on a scale of four, I would give this cigar a three, okay? And one thing I can tell you about that, this cigar was on point. I already went over everything, so that's all I have to say about that. Smoke time for this cigar came out to one hour and 38 minutes. Oh my gosh. So like, as always, uh, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe, Jace Louise. Um, make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. We will totally get to them as they come along. And until next time, guys, YOLO, and we'll see you soon.